morning guys I thought I woke up with plenty of time today but I need to leave in 10 minutes this is by the way why I'm wishing for new towels they're like dyed with something they look strange so I use this comp from the body shop every time I've taken a shower I think I got it in a Christmas calendar one year and it should make sure that I lose less hair apparently so I use that and then I just got this recently in the pink Christmas party press box that you saw here in Vlogmas and it's a color hair lotion and it's wonderful my tips are really dry you can see that here and this is a lotion that you put into your hair and then you keep it in you don't have to rinse it out and it actually it works my hair is so dry that I use a hair mask when I take a shower like not just conditioner but I also use a hair mask so this is just the next step I definitely think this is the most Christmassy look I've been wearing in December so far but I also need to put on my rings and we should just scratch the Christmas calendar before I'm gonna leave it is the 5th of December today and I can also scratch the second Sunday of Advent the 5th of December a reindeer reindeers wouldn't be bad oh second sunday a church unfortunately a church is not one of the symbols to win anything i'm gonna wear this green sweater on top of my dress comfy this is the last thing I need, my comfy, cute winter coat. It's vintage. It is oversized on me, but I love it, so. I think I'm gonna give this outfit an eight out of 10, maybe a nine out of 10. I don't know how I could make it more Christmassy than it already is. So yeah, we need to go. I'm really in a hurry. After a two hour long drive, we finally made it to a destination, Mültuna. Mültuna is a tiny, tiny town in the southern of Yulen. Most of the houses here are listed and they're kept like they were back in the day. So walking through here, you kind of get a view into the past. We always go by this small garage sale shop. They usually have a lot of Christmas decor, but it was kind of thin and empty this year so I very quickly walked up the stairs to see the attic I remember this attic so clearly from last year because I think everything here is is really magical I was looking at these chairs at the prettiest fabric and look at this attic guys and it's full of French romantic castle furniture that's that's my name for them i was looking at this lamp i thought it was beautiful it had flowers on the lampshade i still remember last year when i found out that they had this attic because we've been here for a couple of years now and i didn't realize until last year and i must admit i could probably fill up a pretty big house with everything in here I think it's so beautiful um, but it's also pretty expensive some of these things you can't you can find in a thrift shop if you're lucky at a much lower price of course you need to look for it but it's beautiful so it's probably worth it we also had a glimpse into the church for the first time this year and I was so impressed by the details. All of the paintings in the ceilings were so vibrant and eye-catching and I thought they were beautiful. And then we had a walk back to the car in this weather that was a lot colder in real life than you see in these video clips. It was such a rainy and very cold day. And then we made it to Tuna. The city that we go to every single year to get a feeling of Christmas and festiveness. 
We went out for a bite to eat. This is my nephew. He's going to turn two years on the same day as the petit. He's going to turn two years. And he's adorable eating his food. Then we were walking around for a bit, but it was too cold. So we decided to go into the old pharmacy. So it is an old pharmacy that has been turned into a big boutique. Actually just a building with Christmas stuff. Things that you can get for presents, candles, decorations. You can find anything in here. I've been looking for a tree like this one in gold, but it was 250 Danish corner, which is crazy. I also like this ornament. It's really cool and untraditional in the colors and everything. We were just getting some inspiration and this bubble room, seriously guys, it's amazing. I bought this one last year, you might have seen that in my apartment. It was probably still my favorite one overall. But they have some gorgeous ones. This one I would love if I had a Christmas tree. And a place to store it when it wasn't Christmas. I also liked this mustard colored one. And the room is just full of ornaments in all color schemes. If you want a white Christmas or green or red or gold. Or a crazy Christmas. You can also find some that are like very untraditional. And soon it had gotten really dark and it was time to go home. Hey guys, happy 6th of December. It is Monday today and as you might be able to see, I've popped on my cleaning outfit because my apartment is badly in need of me being home for a day. I have lots of clothes to watch, I need to clean my apartment and then I also think that we should bake our first Christmas cookies of this year. I want to bake pepper nuts, one of my own favourite Christmas recipes and I want to share them with you guys today. So I just need to check out on what we have and then I'm going to write down a shopping list and we're going to go shopping. So I need some butter. So we only need butter, baking powder and cream and then we're good to go. This is the advent present I got from my mom yesterday. It's beautiful and I'm gonna hang it up in the kitchen. Look at it. Here, I think this would work. That would be cool. I found my favorite Christmas cooking bowl that we're gonna use. And then I've set up everything that we need, all the ingredients. And this is a very easy recipe to follow because there's no specific order. You just need to mix everything together. 125 grams of sugar. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Maybe this is a little too much. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of cardamom. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. And half a teaspoon of baking soda. We need 250 grams of flour and now to the liquid bits we need some cream and then we need soft butter so I think I need to warm this up a little bit because it's really hot 150 100 150 was that it? no 125 about there we we'll just heat that up a tiny bit and then I'm going to turn on the oven there we go it's now been softened enough because it shouldn't be all liquid but this is good I'm gonna pop it in here and now I need to get my hands into this and mix it all together it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Seven years later, 
you know that you're getting somewhere when you make it to one hand. Ooh. The size of your pepper nuts is of course completely up to you. I like them to be a little bit bigger so they seem more like a cookie. And also I don't give mine that long in the oven because I like them to still be like a little doughy on the inside and not completely like a cracker. So that's all up to you and what you prefer. I will keep them in there for not super long. Definitely keep an eye on them. I just got a delivery from the body shop. Strange, but I'm so afraid of missing taking out the pepper nuts in time. So these have got to just wait for a bit. I'm gonna put it into the living room. Oh, it's heavy. I think this is the perfect color. You can see that they've been in the oven, but they're not, but they're not overbaked you can see the bottom here they have been baked but they're still doughy this is satisfaction i'm gonna save them for later and get the cleaning done because i have been using some dough so i think i can make it through a cleaning session and then i can enjoy them to a film tonight I think I'm gonna watch something nice, but these are really good and I'm gonna leave my recipe down below if you want to try and make them and Let me know if you'd like for me to show more Danish Christmas cookie recipes throughout December As soon as they've cooled down completely, I'm gonna put them into this beautiful vintage tin box But they just need to cool I don't know how much you can see it, but that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss that I got a few days ago. Up here I have the advert present I got from my boyfriend this Sunday. He's not supposed to get me advent presents, but he surprised me this Sunday with this one. Massive green and gold bubble. I've changed into my comfy clothes for the night even though I feel like I've been comfy all day but now wearing a sweater and some soft trousers we need to scratch the Christmas calendar for today number six ooh another reindeer this probably still doesn't work oh I need another one. It wouldn't be bad to win like 5,000. That's quite a lot of money. And then we need to open Oi Bobby Brown. 
I now have three Christmas calendars. So let's see what Bobby has for us today. I made it to number three. Oh, it looks like a lipstick. Oh, beautiful. That's a beautiful brown color. It is in the color Neutral Rose. That's exciting and it's beautiful. And now let's see what's in here from the body shop. It says Merry Christmas from the body shop team. Ooh. Guys, it's a calendar. That is beautiful and it's so heavy. Okay, so you open it up like this. Wow. That's beautiful. Such a detail. And then what do you do to get to the present? Oh, you take it up like this. And then you have the boxes in there with the numbers on them. And we have many to open. This is number three. Oh, there is a drawer here. Okay. So then you can pull out this one and you can pull out this one. That's so cute. That's such an amazing surprise. I don't know, should we open up the first few now? Or should I wait? Okay, we're gonna open up three. Like three, we can about three. So this is number three. We have number two here. Then I just need to find number one. Oh, number one is here. What a setup this is. Okay, this Christmas we're celebrating the people who selfishly care for others all year round. For the next 24 days, let's join them and share that selfless love with the world. That's a beautiful message. So the first package is... Oh, British Rose Shower Gel. I love British Rose. The scent is so lovely. Already perfect. I love the body shop. Number two. I got a clean sink butter with chamomile. In this small tin box. I get red whenever I'm like excited or nervous or frustrated. So I guess I'm excited. And then number three, the last one we're gonna open today, is a big one. I've got hydrating toner. This product from the body shop, I've never tested before, so that's really interesting. And that was the first three days of the body shop calendar. What a surprise! That's so sweet of the body shop. I just need to write them a thank you. So that was lovely. And also this was the last bit from today's vlog. I've actually chilled on the sofa for some time. I f if it feels like a Sunday. I still have so much washing to fold. It's all in the, in the living room. But I've just needed kind of a slow day with some hours where I've just been chilling on the sofa with my computer. So... Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I should have answered a question in today's video, but I answered quite a few in yesterday's Vlogmas. So comment down below if you have any questions for me and I will start answering questions in the coming videos. So thank you so much for today and yesterday and I'm gonna see you all again tomorrow. Bye guys.